I am more than a song today. I've brought myself. I am your worship. I am more than a song today. I've brought myself. I am the sacrifice. I am more than a song. Today, I've brought myself, I am your worship. Receive this living sacrifice, I am your worship. I set this living sacrifice. I am your worship. Receive this living sacrifice. I am your worship. I am your worship. <coughs> Sacrifice, I am your worship. I set this living sacrifice, your worship, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen and amen. Almighty, all sufficient, the God who is kind, the powerful God, unchanging changer, the beginning and the end, the God of all things, the puta fort of power, we honor your name. We worship you. We bow before your throne. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you because you do all things well. Father, we honor you. For how you've loved us, we say thank you. For how you're loving us, we say thank you. To you, O oh Lord, be all the glory. To you, O oh Lord, be all the honor. Almighty God, the King Majestic, we bow before you, O God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For life, for godliness, for everything in between. Because you are merciful, because you are kind, I worship your name this morning. Thank you, Lord, for my household. Thank you for every one of us. Thank you for the things you have done. Thank you for the things you are doing. Lord Jesus, thank you. Lord Jesus, thank you. Lord Jesus, thank you. We worship your name. Zegele gade kasi katali magade kepo. Zumbrali hatale gede badosa. Eke se kete ligadi brahanda. 
jeketele gadagade gato koso koto gasa kati la megese zigaliga digade bahanda le matusada jegede gade kaso o koso kolo kasi galiga de kasa le kete eke se kete le gadega eke sheke liga dada bade zombreye kati la hima kusaga dade thank you for mark this morning thank you for kenechi Thank you for Chidiabele. Thank you for Joshua. Thank you for my siblings, oh God. Thank you for their families. Thank you for my mother. Thank you for the CYM family. Thank you for the Well family. Lord, we honor you. We give you all the praise. Thank you for support, oh God, from people we know, from people we are yet to meet. Lord, we're saying thank you this morning. You've done many things well, oh God. As a matter of fact, you've done all things well. We are saying thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you have set ahead of us to do today. Lord, we honor you. Thank you for our victory list. Thank you for victory indeed. We worship you. Father Lord, we honor your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To you, O Lord, be all the glory, the God of all flesh, the almighty, unchanging, powerful. I bow before your throne this morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the things you are doing. Thank you, Lord, for how you take us to places we didn't dream we could walk in. Thank you for the vistas you opened unto us. Thank you for instructions you've given us. And as long as we heed them, we move forward. Father, we are saying thank you. Thank you for the capacity to say yes. Thank you because you celebrate our yes. Lord Jesus, thank you. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for desires in you that are met. Almighty, thank you. I worship your name. I worship your name. I worship your name. I worship your name, oh God. No God is like you. You are powerful, you are kind, you are merciful. You are able to do many things, Lord. Lord Jesus, I honor your name. Sekele pahi sati la made, zekele gede bagasu kata yemado, zoko lo badi kasi gali mahanta li kasa galagada, abra dege da gede bodo, joko to luba kusanta yimakata, zekele gede kato soko luba gazi kati yemahanta le, abra zuto yo koto limahika, zikala mihi kase gelege de bo. Zimpra hata lege de bakar sudade. Zombre heteli kasi kati lamade. Thank you, Lord, for the baby that was born pre time a few days ago. Thank you, Lord, for accelerated growth for him, O oh God. Lord, we return all the praise. Zekele gadega sapu la mihi kashandale. Zebra hoto koso koto yoke taliga ziga liga la mahanda. Breke teke lega bukoso kote ye mahi kasi galaga gazendele baho to yima ziga lagega te kashe telepa zubrehe tele kasi kali madega zumbe le baho te lege se kete yi kali kali mahanda lebra Father thank you thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you for naughty issues you are resolving, O oh God. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You are a kind king. You are the majestic God. You are the almighty. You do all things well. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all adoration. Immortal, invisible, only wise God, 
the God that is kind, all sufficient, able to do all things. I bow before your name, Jesus. Lord Jesus, thank you. I honor you. I worship you. I give you praise. You are kind, O oh God. You are merciful. Zeke kale gadi gadi bahunta lima hatale zupreke se gede bagati kata yima kasege junto loko toli kali gala brahate ziga liga diga dege gosope kete la mehi kasambali zupreka se katu yemehete ege se keta liga deke tekele ege se kete azege ekele mahuta yika sege oko sondolo pekati la mehi kaziga labato. Father Lord, we worship you. We give you all the praise. Thank you for your wisdom for today, O oh God. Thank you for the wisdom you provided yesterday. Thank you for day 24 of the um, of the 40 days of decrease. Thank you for this fast, O oh God. Thank you for what you're opening our eyes to. Thank you for the things you are bringing us to. Thank you for what you are teaching us. Thank you for how you are propping us up to continue to go with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your name. We worship your name. We worship your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we honor you. Father, we honor you. Father, we honor you. Father, we honor you. Can we get into our wisdom units and begin to decree in tongues? Like, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you to make the wisdom, to press into wisdom this morning. Brazu gede de bakasin kaliga di ka shokolo pa hitli mahanda liga laga Brazu gede de de bakoso ko zigali mahanta liga zigele bakusha kitli mahanda lege Brazu de ga diga diga sandili mahanda leba zopreke sekete kayuta taika li mahanta lebado jubado de de ga zika taima o zende lebra huteke te ye mahuta taliga zigala bada jopreke takate katalege lebado zombreke Teli magusa kandale zegelega diga zegeleba kata shida jire de 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 bogo zomba lima ha zegelega de 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 di pato zubraga zunto ye meheke tela zekeleba gatuto ye meheke selega dudo doba zekelega tata yiga lagadega dade da patu le mahe zebrega di shoto lumega tata zandali galila libra handalege zekete ye mato soba zekelega gadadoto sotoluma dakisha zebra Hataliga Zika Talima, Zegelege de Bakashuketa Lima, Zegele Bakuseketa Yima Kisa Gida Dida De Manu, Lobre Hekese Kate, Gasuga Lima Hantalege de Ba, Zobreketa Shele Magazagi, Zampele Nakusaga Liga Dika Sika Taye Mato, Zobra Hoto Luma Kase, Zegele Gede Gede Bakatuya Meheta, Gasekelega da de De, Zobrege de De Baka Singa Lima Hantalege de Bo. Braziga liga da gada de 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 poto shonto zekete li magasi kata zegele gede de 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 bakasu gele gasu kete li magadi ke sheke legedo zobrede gazi kata yem zobrede gede gede kata le made ege sekete li gada du bade ege sende li magi sekete li gada do. Ege zekete li patu sagada Jegele bako sokoto lo magi zegedege Brazu ndolo maka sekete li gade Gezege la mago kosogo lo Zegelege de 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 baka sangila mahandali Jupre kasuke Gozendele makata Zepra kusegele mahutete kashegele bako segede mahandaliga Father we worship you Father we worship you Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. We honor your name, Jesus. We bow before your throne, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. Almighty Father, 
the King Majestic, the God that does all things well. I honor your name, O God. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for wisdom. In Proverbs chapter 23, verse number 10. Proverbs chapter 23, verse number 10. 10, it says, never move a long-standing boundary line or attempt to take land that belongs to the fatherless. For they have a mighty protector, a loving redeemer who watches over them. He will, and he will stand for their cause. Pay close attention to the teaching that corrects you and open your heart to every word of instruction. Do not withhold appropriate discipline from your child. Go ahead and punish me when he needs it. Don't worry, it won't kill him. I want us to begin by making a declaration that the Lord will give you. Last Sunday when we looked at the seven pillars of wisdom at the well, we, we, we said that one of the pillars of wisdom is equity. Equity, the capacity to be fair. Equity, the capacity to be fair. We talked about judgment, we talked about justice, we talked about equity. I want you to declare and decree this morning that you would, that Lord and um, um, Father in the name of Jesus, I receive I received the wisdom to judge correctly, correctly in the name of Jesus. I receive the wisdom to judge it by justice in the name of Jesus and I receive the wisdom to be where, where, to be to be fair in the name of Jesus Father Lord that no matter what I what stands before me no matter what I do equity will be my 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 my, my standard in the name of Jesus I will be fair oh God in my judgments in the name of Jesus make that declaration this morning from whether you have to judge something that you know for someone's life hanging in the balance or you simply have to judge which direction to go in the next one year whatever it is let judgment let your judgment be fair let your let let it let justice be your portion may you be fair may it be fair in the name of jesus speak to god he said do not move a long-standing boundary line what it simply means is that you need to be judged you, you will judge yes but you will have to be fair you would bring judgment. You have to be fair. But the Lord is counting on your wisdom for justice in this world. So that you must be fair. You must be fair. Otherwise, it will be a waste. You must be fair. Speak to God this morning. Say, I receive the capacity to be fair. I receive the capacity for justice, for judgment, and for equity. In the name of Jesus, make that declaration this morning. These are pillars upon which your wisdom is judged. These are pillars upon which your wisdom is judged. These are pillars upon which your wisdom is judged. That you are called a wise person is because people can see that in judgment that you, you judge fairly. It's to, it, 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 and, and you correct, judge fairly and courageously and fairly. You need to be able to stand and be a person who will judge without being afraid. You need to be the person who brings justice, no matter who else is on the other side. And you definitely be the person who can bring equity. These are some of the tangible ways that we, we can... Um, these are, the, these are the tangible manifestations of wisdom. So I want you to make that declaration and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the courage to bring judgment because your word says that I can judge. In the name of Jesus, I receive, oh God, the capacity to bring justice because, Lord, that is the character that you have. In the name of Jesus, and if I'm created in your image after your likeness, then I must bring justice. In in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask for the capacity to come, oh God, every time with equity. I will be fair, oh God. In the name of Jesus, the wisdom to be fair, the wisdom to judge accurately. Lord, I receive it today. Zengeleba, 
Zapati, Zegede Gede Gadika Talubadi, Jumbra La Rade Gadogo Loba, Zekete Katu, Zikale Bahinda Ligadu Batu Shegele Madopa, Zebra Kanta Leke Te Ligada De Gazika Ti La Maga, Zebra de Totodo, Zopekete Yima, Ziga Ligada Dada Bege Deke Sekete Yimatosa, Zakaliga Dada De Gazumbele Mahanda, Zopre Katoso Koto, Zopra Kasigali Maganda She, Gasha Talika Ti La Bado, Zobre Gazekoto Yima Kita, Zandalika Sakata, Zeketete Patusuba, Gibrahanda Lekete Lima, Zubre Gasuka Tula Miga Zegede Gadi Gaduto Sompelema, Zakata Ti Abrahandale, Zopre Kezegete Yimatu, Zubede da Bigaz Galima Handalike, Zaprahinda Lima Kese. I receive the capacity this morning, O oh God, to judge with courage, to bring justice, O oh God, where it would, it would not have manifested. And to be fair, Zekele Mado, that I might be able to ascend to your hill, O God, because I come with equity. My hands are clean. In the name of Jesus, this is the wisdom that I receive today. By faith, O God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I honor and I worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. This morning, we are going to intercede. We need to intercede for our men again. We need to intercede for our men again today. We want to intercede for our men again today. Shaliba handa limaku sagira dabo. Zumbre de dege gati sati la mihika saga. Zopre kasi kati la magike te. Gaso koloba de. There's one prayer point I want us to pray for our men. And especially those who need to start all over. That the Lord will grant them the courage to begin again. And the humility to begin again. In the name of Jesus. The courage and humility to start all over and of course the wisdom let's pray it upon our men this morning zekete li gali brada kasi gali bahanta shire jobre de de ga sekete ye basunta li makase gelege zuprali makase gadi dado zobre ge zege dadu dadabu du sundalu maheke seche yi tatari ya tele magaseke kataluba digaze zumbra diga 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 de ge de ge de ge da so poto sholo madi kasi kati kati la gade brozo koto lo brahi kasi lama ege zendeli kato koto yukali zeg gele gede baga sukanta yemaka segele zupatu shadi gazika tuma zegede boko soko to logo dodo badika saga jandali magizaga la gede gede bago soko to yebra zontoli kaseke katulebe gasukamba jimbre dede gazuka to luma dika sika la gede de zope ke zege bago soko to yuma zegele gega giga duto to sholo makisa katale zantale katale gede boko sogo gasika la ba dege zegete te yimato Zubra handale meke sekete jatu lagi da diga zigeba zumbrele makato logodo badi zimbra hantu le mege se pray for our men pray for our husbands pray for our fathers pray for our for our sons, pray for our brothers. Lege bago to son doluma. Jigalagade geze kete yiba. Dasa kate kete li maduka shinda li kasi kaba. Zibra tuso. Zepa tule maka. Geze gede deba. Zumprate kete yima. Zokoto shoto luba di kasi kati ya yamade. Zumbra di dadiga zika. Zubede debe geze kete te yima kosoga. Zanta te kete ke liga. Zuga ligada baku se kete yima kadeda. Zumbre he tele ma Father, we bring your sons, O oh God, before you this morning, and we thank you for their lives. Lord, we pray, O oh God, for the grace, the courage, the humility, the wisdom to begin all over where it is necessary. In the name of Jesus, and Lord, whatever they put their hands to, to start over. In the name of Jesus, we declare your breath upon them. So do do badika zandale makate la gadega da do pa so koluma kanta shede de da de brahan talimako zada da brege de kete zubrede kasi kata imade father lord that there will be heads of their homes indeed 
in the name of Jesus, in word and in deed, O God. In the name of Jesus, in authority, O God. Father Lord, in provision, O God. In dignity, O God. In the name of Jesus. Zalama handalika saba. Jobrege zekete kate kelege. Jotolu bradika si galama. Jekeke ke kato. Zopele makisaka. Juda di dadi badeke se gele makuta yigala. Obre zegedede bakuta yi magan zandele. Zumbali mahutoto. Zokototo shoba digeze gadiga dadeke se kete yigala bade. O sokolo madi. Zebra hasu kache. Shente kete katu kotopa. Zikata li magadeka sukete. Lagala la 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 brada dade. Zokotolo begadi banu mahanda. Zokele bagosho kotolo kadu. Zumbre hete katu kati. Kanta li kete legeba. Zobre gezege dadu to sondo lume ke sagada dade bahanda li mahota. Gasa kanda lege lebo. Shoto lubra di kasege. Eka sende li mato. Father, thank you for your sons, O God. Thank you for your sons, O God. Thank you for your sons, O God. Father, Lord, give them the grace for witty inventions. Father, those ones who can't see again, find a way out of the maze. Father, Lord, let a light shine in that darkness now. May they begin to see, O God, again. Father, Lord, give them an excitement in their spirit, a zeal, O God. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Zelema Hakasuga Ligeba, Zombre Heke Kato, Oze Gelema Gazika Shandalimako, Zobreke Sekatila Mihika Sandalibado. Brahata le mege se kete yiga liga bahanta shira. Breze gede de 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 bagasi kata ye me hinta liga. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our men, O God. Strengthen them, O God. Zeke le made let their strength be renewed, O God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let them dream new dreams, O oh God. Let them have visions, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Bahu sekete le makata. Zakato libre da du shotoba. Zigalaga da ge kateye makusege. Zotolo badika sigali makasandali. Zebrahata tahima. Zeketete shatu kete. Zumbla la mahandali kasiga liga lagapa. Zopreke tato kosondolu makate. Zigaliga liga la la lubra hate. Zopreke sege le magoso konda yi. Zigaliga dega zekete yi katali brada. Zembalu mehikete le kadado paside. In the name of Jesus. The next um, prayer uh, intercession I want us to go to is for businesses. I want us to intercede for businesses this morning. Thank you for Vivitim, O oh God. Zegele Bakasa Kantali Makoso Kotolo. Thank you for the BMM brand, O oh God. Zegele Gede Bakasha Katali Madika Si. Zigali Batu Sokoto Ye Kati Lakita Sendali Makate. Brazu Dudo Bakasa Kateya. Yele Magaziga Liga Dadeba. Jupraka Seke. Kosoto Lumadeka. Zumbra Diga 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 Do Batisete. Jupraka Sendali Makete Kete Liga Dadabota. Zebra Kasombe Mahika, Zumbereka de Diga Zika Tanima, Wo Zumbre Hete Limage. Father, we bring every business represented on this call before you. Lege de Baka Suka Limagata Te Shelika Taliga Lagadado. Brazika tilama kasegelege zombre de 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 bagusa kandaliga jokologa diga diga di bahandalema ko brege zega dega diga zika ti yare yaman handelai de do zobra katoto yo zokole badika saga zimbalu meke kasegelega duda zopekete katotolo patasali magazegega gadadu to shundo lubeda zopa kusegele bakusa kita yama yele magazegele dega sokoto yu bradega zombe li magaza Gadega sokoto yi makasi geda o kele mahanda legele gadadu do sopato brakata te kasekete la katulu magazekele jumbra di gazi kati 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 la made gaze bako sekete receive life and life in the name of Jesus brazo goto to sholumate we declare a fresh infusion of life to the businesses on this prayer platform this morning gazo badudo kosondo luma hika sege zumbre geta to shotolu kasi 
Gala, Gazambali, Zegele, Gedega, Doko, Sokoto, you Bradiga, Segele, Mahanda, Zakaliba, Dakashoto, Jegele, Gede, Debaka, Senda, Zupeka, Sika, Dila, Mihika, Zika, Lamado, Brazi, Gede, Dede, Kasekete, Zekele, Makota, Luze, Deba, Zumbre, De Lega, Sekete, Yimakota, Jikati, Kati, Kati, La Brada, Digede, Zumpeke, Sinda, Limakata, Lege, Dege, Boko, Sogo, Loge, Dega, Zantali, Kasege, Zonto, Lumadi, Kasi, Zaka, Limage, Kete, Ya, Lope, Kasege, Limakato, Shudadi, Jube, Dede, Baga, Zika, Tayi, Makasege, Zandali, Glasi, Katele, Gombe, Diga, Ziga, Luma, Handali, Gazege, Leba, Sodo, Zoprekata yi katalima gazekele Branzun dolu gadika segedema Leba hude de de bado Father breathe upon it, O God Jiga la mahanda lege dege Father breathe upon it, O God Zegele magisaka Every business represented on this call today Jumbe lima hatalega Zogele baguze kete lima kasaga Jegele gede bato The fresh infusion of life Zemba hintalika siga lema gazekete Zaka liga da ba hanta li mako. Braseke te lege da bika su kanta le mede. Zogodo do do ba dika si kata yi mata si galaga. Shupati le mege de keseke te liga. Zege lege de ge gatuta yema. Zopreke se kata li mahota segele. Jembra hanta li ke si galaga toto. Batu so ko pati shali mahinda li galabre. Lord, we thank you for the businesses, O God. Thank you for your fresh breath upon our businesses in the name of Jesus. Finally, let's thank God for Nigeria. Thank you for the nation of Nigeria. Thank you for the nation of Nigeria. Thank you for the nation of Nigeria. Father Lord, we worship you. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the call. If you shared the link, thank you very much. If you're yet to share the link, remember we're on Project 500. Please share and share and share. May the Lord grant you grace in Jesus' name. We're in day 24 of the 40 days of decrease. And today we fast neutrality. Today we fast neutrality. This is not spectatorship. Spectatorship is you have an opinion. You just decide not to do anything. Neutrality is you try not to pick a side. And in God, Ron Connelly says that there is no demilitarized zone. You must choose a side. So um, when we say we fast neutrality, we're trying to encourage ourselves to choose a, a side. And I'm hoping that you will choose the side of the Lord in the name of Jesus. In the book of Joshua, Joshua, towards the end of Joshua's life, I believe it was Joshua 24, Joshua called an assembly of the children of Israel or before 24 and he spoke to them chronicled how far god has brought them and then in the end he said to them he said choose ye this day whom you will serve as for me and my house we shall serve the lord as for me and my house we shall serve the lord as for me and my house we shall serve the lord a lot of us think that in some things or some areas of our lives we can be neutral but no there is no neutrality when you walk with god it is deadly to try to be neutral and before i even go and begin to read alicia i'll tell you the reason why you cannot working with god is either is either a rejection or a reception you either receive it or you reject it there's nothing like oh i'm sitting on the fence here you can't sit on the fence on your journey with god you must choose a side you must choose a side because god so loved the word number one he's so loved god's love is so loved your love is so loved it's not you know it, when when my husband says to me i love you 
or and then it's different from when he says to me, I so love you. There is an emphasis. God's love is so loved. So you can't sit, you take that level of love or that kind of love and decide that you will do nothing. That decide that you will choose, you will not choose a side. You are playing to the gallery, anyone that works for you. No, this is not politics. This is your life. This is all that you are. You cannot not choose a side. Someone will say, but Abdi, if I didn't choose a side, where am I on this prayer call? Well... If you feel that it pays you to come because your need will be met, you may be choosing yourself. But the point is you have to choose something. And it's fine. Because some of us come to God to choose ourselves. When you choose God, there is a way it goes. And I'm going to be describing that way to you very soon. When you choose yourself, it you can be, what that means is that you can say, I Lord Jesus, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. But everything you do is choosing yourself. If they say, you know, give money, you can't give it because you're choosing yourself. Choose yourself by your by saying my money is not enough, so I can't let I can't give up any of it. They say fast, you choose yourself. You say, oh no, the last time I tried to fast, I fainted. So if I fast, I will faint, even though it was 20 donkey years ago. So oh, I can't fast. If I fast, maybe I'll faint again. So you don't fast, you choose yourself. They say, open yourself up so that you give people access to you. Just so that you can impact their lives. So the last time I did that, someone hurt me. So no, I'm not opening myself up again to anyone to come. You choose yourself and you reject God. That's the way. But every single day, we have the opportunity to choose, choose God. That's the point. Every single day, we have the opportunity to choose God. Will you choose him or will you choose yourself? Those are the two options. It's either you or, or him. And the last time I checked, everyone who chose them, themselves got in trouble. Ask Judas. Every single person who chose himself got in trouble. The reason is not because God is mean. It is because you do not have the capacity to sustain yourself. So when you choose yourself and you don't have the capacity to sustain yourself, what is bound to manifest is a rot. Do you understand it? What is bound to manifest is a rot. So you can't choose you. That's why yesterday, for 30 minutes, what did we keep saying? We kept saying that it's a yes, Lord. It's a yes, Lord. It's a yes, Lord. It's a yes to you. So today we fast neutrality. You cannot not choose a side. So today is the day you take a look at your life critically. Take a look at your, your, your money. Take a look at your health. Take a look at your finances. Take a look at your relationships. Take a look at your priorities. Take a look and ask yourself, did I choose myself or did I choose God? Does choosing God mean that you become a preacher? No, that's not what it means. It just means that his standard guides, guide, his standards guide all the decisions you make. That's what it means. It doesn't mean that you become a preacher. That's not what it means. So don't say, well, I don't know how to be. I'm not calling, asking you to come become a pastor. Believe me, there are too many of them. I'm asking that you choose God. In your speech, choose God. In your attitude, choose God. That's what this is about. In what you put through your mouth into your body, choose God. You say, how does that concern God again? It concerns him because if God gave you an assignment to the earth, and he said that you will live for 90 years so that you will do that work. And because you treat your body shabbily, at 45 you begin to die. You did not choose God when he came to taking care of or not taking care of your body. That's my point. So when in parenting, choose God. If you raise children because of the choices you make, who cannot stand and, and, and stand for God in the end, you didn't choose God properly in your parenting journey. I said it. Choose God. Choose God. 
Because if you choose God when it comes to parenting, sometimes there will be a smacking that will happen. Sometimes there will be a yelling. Because the reality is children don't know what to do until we'll tell them what to do. And if we don't begin early to tell them what to do, when they became, become older and they now know what they want to do, there's nothing you tell them that they will do anymore. What is my point? There is no facet of our lives that we can't choose God. Sister B, read the scripture. I'm getting to it. In John chapter 13, John chapter 13, I want to read from verse 31. John chapter 13, from verse 31. So when Judas had left, Jesus said, Now is the time for the Son of Man to be glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him, the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you are not able to come. I am giving you a new commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. So you too are to love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you have love and unselfish concern for one another, Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where, you are, where are you going? Jesus answered, where I'm going, you cannot follow me now but you will be able to follow me later. Peter said to him, Lord, why cannot I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Uh-huh. Talk is cheap, isn't it? Jesus answered, will you really lay down your life for me? I will show you and most solemnly say to you, before a rooster crows, you would deny and completely disown me three times. Hallelujah. Do you see? Peter chose Jesus by the, his words. But Jesus told him, by your actions, you shall not be choosing me. So when I'm talking about neutrality, it's easy to pontificate. Talk is cheap, so we run our mouths. I surrender. For, that, for some of us, that is running our mouth. We're like, ah, I better surrender it. Yes, until the next, the next bride comes. And then you forget to surrender. I surrender or yes, until the next provocation comes. Then we forget to for surrender. I was so proud of myself yesterday. I was so proud of myself yesterday. One of my siblings poked me in the eye. Because what he did was he poked me in the eye. Before now, he will hear it. But as he did it, I just started to worship. It hurt me. I mean like I was hurt. But I, something just empowered me. And rather than respond the way he's hurt me, I just started to worship God. And I kept at that worship for like 20 minutes. And when I was done at 20 minutes, what I did was I typed a prayer for him. Before I went to bed, as I reviewed my day, I was so glad that in that moment, I could choose God. In that moment, I could choose God. Because everything in my flesh said, choose yourself. Can't you see he was disrespectful? Choose yourself. But in that moment, the Holy Spirit helped me. Wisdom kicked in. And I chose God in that moment. And I'm trusting God that I will be able to choose him consistently on that matter as I go forward. But that's the way you... You see, choosing God is not by what I say. I can sit on commanding your money and tell you some really nice things that I am until the opportunity comes to prove what I have said. So Peter was saying, ah, go, Jesus, no. Anywhere you are going, I'm coming with you, even if it means that I will have to lay down my life for me. Jesus looked at him and said, will you really do that? do that? Because the last time I checked, I can see it already. Before the cock will crow a couple of times, you will deny me, totally disown me three times. 
Peter, you remember in another account, Peter went on to argue, right? But what happened in the end? He didn't even remember. It was at the second crow, uh, crow of the of 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 the um, of the cock, cock, and at his third denial that he remembered. He came to himself, and the Bible said he was so ashamed of himself. Will you choose God? Because that's the only way to go on this journey. If we go to Matthew chapter 16, I still haven't read Alicia. I know. Don't worry, I will read Alicia. But if you go with me to Matthew chapter 16, Matthew 16, Matthew 16, choosing God is serious business, so I have to prove it to you. From verse 21, it said, From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples clearly that he must go to Jerusalem and endure many things at the hand of the elders and chief priests and scribes, saw him during Jewish high court and be killed and be raised from death to life on the third day. Peter took him aside to speak to him privately and began to reprimand him saying, may God forbid it. This will never happen to you. When every time I, I, I get to this scripture, I can't stop laughing. Peter gave her to Get bad mind. Call God. He said, God forbid, God. God, that thing where you talk just now, God forbid. That was what Peter said. You know, when I say it in PG English, it's hilarious to my own hearing. Peter said to God, God forbid. Do you understand it? But Jesus turned to Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, for you are not setting your mind on things of God, but on the things of man. Then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone wishes to follow me, as my disciple, he must number one, deny himself, that set aside selfish interests and take up his cross, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come and follow me, believing in me, conforming to my example in living and if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me. For whosoever wishes to save his life in this world will eventually lose it through death. But whoever loses his life in this world for my sake will find it. That is life with me for all eternity. Do you see that? Do you see that? He says, if anyone... But let's even go back to what Jesus said to Peter in verse 23. He said, get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. For you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. At that point, in that intense conversation, without knowing, Peter chose, Peter rejected God. Because God did not look like he should look to Peter. Peter had an idea of a God who was all-powerful, who cannot die. And here God was saying to Peter, I am actually going to be die. And no, I will not die by old age. I'm going to die because someone takes my life. And Peter just loaned himself to the devil without even knowing. And said, no, you, that cannot happen. God forbid, God, it can't happen. And Jesus turned to Peter and said, get thee beside, behind me. Why would Peter be standing in front of Jesus? Talking to Jesus and Jesus is rebuking the devil. Because at that point, without knowing, Peter shifted and loaned himself to the devil for use. It was the devil that was speaking through him. That was why when God, Jesus rebuked, he didn't rebuke Peter, he rebuked the devil. Do you get it now? So when I'm saying we must fast from neutrality and that we, can, we have to choose, this is how it happens. You don't leave your house saying today I'm going to deny God. You just find yourself out of the blue called by your boss for something. And because you didn't have time, there was no warning, you had no time to prepare. All you say is, lie because the lie sounded better in that tiny moment than the truth considering that your boss had people in the room and you didn't want to you know um, probably make him look bad on something so you lie at that point what we just did when we do it is that we chose ourselves or we chose man above God do you see that it's so easy to be on loan to the devil. A few years ago, I was talking to my staff. We're having one of those intense love meetings. And I said to them, if any of you will be on loan to the devil, they looked at me like, Are you, do you dare to say I'm demonized? 
And I said, even pastors get to loan themselves to the devil sometimes if they are not paying attention. You loan to the de they serve to the devil when you leave the will of God on the table and you begin to think about the flesh. Hallelujah. As we read in Luke 9, 51, as the time approached for him to be taken up to heaven, I'm reading Alicia now, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. Note that Jesus did not start with this revelation. When calling, I need you to pay attention to this. When calling the first disciples, Jesus said, follow me, not follow me to the cross. Jesus simply said, follow me. And so when we hear Jesus say, follow me, all we can see are streets lined up with gold. All we can see are trips to Dubai and, you know, a, a pile of money to shop. All we can see is a life where there is no sickness. All we can see is a castle with our name on it. All we can see are children who, do, who made first class. All we can see is a thriving business. When Jesus says, follow me. The only problem is on the journey, there is a going to the cross as well. So if we go back to the scripture we read, Jesus said in Matthew 16, he says, take up your cross. No, in John, um, John 13, yes. Say, take off your, up your cross and follow me. If you will go with me, you have to take off your, up your cross. You have to take up your cross. You have to take up your cross and be willing, if necessary, to die in the process. You have to take up your cross and follow me. I think that if Jesus had told me in the beginning, Follow me to the cross. I would, I would have thought about it and said, mm, I, I, no, Jesus, I don't think so. So what he says to us every, is follow me. So you are excited. You think you're just going to be skipping to follow Jesus. And then maybe you remember the scripture says you walk upon your high places. Then you begin to dance. I'm walking on my high places. Do you understand what it takes to climb the high place before you walk on it? All of you will just be dancing to any song anyhow. You don't know the meaning. When they say, I'm going you know, up to the high places, you will begin to dance. You don't know that it's bad to say to tear the devil's kingdom down. You don't know that you climb. The, do you think, try and walk uphill. Then you know that going up a high place is not more more. But when we choose God, we have an idyllic picture of what God looks like. When we get there, we begin to see cross. And sometimes we see sickness. And sometimes we see a lack of money. And sometimes we see a lack of even knowing what to do. We begin to look for the devil around us. No, this is not devil. This is the journey to the cross. Do you understand that? The disciples no doubt started following Jesus with great respect and sincere admiration. However, love needs, I love this that Alicia said. I'm going to read it slowly. She said, however, love needs time to grow before it has the strength to go wherever the beloved becomes. Love needs time to grow before it has the strength to go wherever the beloved becomes. Love needs time to grow before it has the strength to go wherever the beloved leads, if you like. So the reason why when you hear, follow me, all you can see, the pictures you can see are pictures of gold and silver and precious things. is because your love needs to grow before it can receive strength to climb the hill, to carry a cross, to deny yourself. When I got, just got born again, I said, Lord, I want a bottle of water. It won't take four hours. Tons of bottles of water will show up. So I foolishly thought that that is how Jesus would be doing with me every day if I just need water. Until they started to shamilada. You know what that means? It felt like someone was cutting me with a machete. When the fire started, then I recognized, oh my God, they didn't tell me the whole story. That's why I'm still looking for the person who preached to me first and told me in Jesus everything is honky-dory. If I find that person, I have something to say to him. Problem is I don't remember who it is because many people preached to me before I finally said yes to Jesus. Though all would stumble, one would bail, none would 
none and none could fathom the cause. The disciples from John 14, 31 followed Jesus crossword. Through the pain to come, Jesus fixed his gaze upon the truly great fruitfulness, fruitfulness rather, waiting him, awaiting him on the other side of the truly great sacrifice. When you hear follow me, all you see is the fruitfulness. But it takes a sacrifice to get into the fruitfulness. Crossword is a commitment that passion may make, but that only, but that only love can keep. The journey to the cross is a commitment that passion may make, but it will only take love to keep it. The reason why we begin to choose neutrality is because sometimes our, our, all we have is passion. There is no love to sustain what we had decided. That's why we find ourselves loading ourselves to the devil. Today's fast is neutrality. Cross talk can be rather confusing. On the one hand, we're told that Jesus endured the cross so that we would not have to. And to the extent that the cross means the place of redemptive sacrifice, that is correct. Jesus died in our place to reconcile us to God, 2 Corinthians 5, 18. On the other hand, Jesus himself told us to take up our cross daily. Therefore, when we define the cross as self-denial, the fact that Jesus went through it does not mean that we, that we get to go around it. A lot of us think that because Jesus carried the cross, I shouldn't carry a cross. But he invited you to carry your own cross, which meant he was saying to us, now my own cross I carry, so you go find your own. Whether yours is small or big is not the issue. A cross is a cross is a cross. It is heavy. Some things that some people scale through without, you won't even know they are going through that thing. I find myself going through them, it looks like I want to die. Because maybe for that level, particular pain, my threshold is non-existent. I have no threshold whatsoever. My brothers and my sisters, you cannot be neutral. When you are neutral, the conversation that Jesus will have with you will be something like, get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. When we, when we are neutral, we deny. The word that is translated neutral is the same word deny. We deny, which means that we claim to have no knowledge on relationship to. That was what Jesus, Peter did when he denied Jesus. He said, I have, don't know who I'm you are talking about. I have no knowledge of him. How can then can I be related to him? My brothers and my sisters, there are just two options. You either deny self or you deny Jesus. This is the crux. Remaining neutral is not an option. We have to choose a side. So today as we fast neutrality, in the small undocumented details of life, choose Jesus over self. Recommit to living crossword. Between will you give the policeman a hundred naira or you actually go and renew your vehicle license? Choose Jesus and go and renew your vehicle license. The cross is the ultimate call to decrease. The cross is not a call to forget our own names, but to live and die for the name of another. The cross is a call to renounce self-direction and shift leadership loyalties from ourselves to our savior. We cannot be neutral. There is no demilitarized zone. If you're, not, if, you, if you're not on the Lord's side, you're on the devil's side. It's as simple as that. And it doesn't matter in what uh, magnitude you have to choose the Lord's side. Who is going to pray with me this morning to say, Lord, I choose you. Father, Lord, in the decisions that I will make today, I will choose you. If someone provokes me today, I will choose you. I will choose you. I will choose you. Father, when I, when I get there and they say, oh, this is your letter, but you have to give this money. Let me be bold enough to turn around and walk away and say, if I have to give a bribe to get the letter, then I will not be getting it. And that will be fine by me. Lord, teach me to decrease by going to the cross. Help teach me how to deny myself today. As we're praying that, is there someone who wants to give their life to Jesus? Choose the Lord by saying, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. 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 
In the big things, I choose you, O God. I give you my life this morning. In the little things, I choose you, O God. I give you my life this morning. In the big things, I choose you, O God. I give you my life this morning. In the little things like driving against traffic, even though everyone is driving against traffic ahead of me, I choose you, O God. I choose to endure the traffic today. I choose you, Lord Jesus. In the little thing of a white lie, because that's how we categorize our lies, that will make me look good. Father, let me not look good so that you can take the glory. I choose you today. Is there anyone giving their lives to Jesus? If you're giving your life to Jesus, you need to say it and type it. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Today, in choosing God, I'm going to be taking another step of faith in the journey that God has called me to. Pray for me and say, Lord, as she chooses you, let grace will be available to her. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm trusting that you will help me today, that it will be effortless as I choose you. Because this is scary for me. But as I choose you, Lord, may it be effortless. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. We have the study of Exodus this evening at 7 p.m. So therefore, we will not have the end of fast prayer. I will just do Exodus because I have a busy day ahead of me. I already be, have been talking for a long time. So if I do that prayer again, I know it's 10 minutes, but I would like to catch my breath at that point so that I can come and do Exodus 19, the concluding part of Exodus 19 powerfully. So please pray for grace for me today. I truly need it because everything in my flesh is saying, don't choose Jesus, run away. No wonder I'm fasting neutrality today. So Lord, I will show up and I will trust you to bridge the gap between what I can do and what is required in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining the prayer call. Father Lord, we pray for those who have yet to know you. Father Lord, that you bring them on this prayer call that they might have an encounter with you. That Lord will go back to, oh God, getting people give their lives to you. Lord, we intercede for our loved ones who are yet to know you. We give them, we ask that you give them the opportunity to receive you, oh God. And as our loved ones begin to receive you in different places because you place men and women on their path. Father, those who come on this prayer call that are yet to know you, in your mercy, Lord, bring them to yourself. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you for praying for me this morning. God bless you richly. In Jesus' name. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, once you don't choose Jesus, you chose yourself or you chose the devil. So there is no neutral. You've got to choose a side. So choose him today. And may you're choosing him be beneficial to your generations. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.